you know, I think I know what I like about alternate history and stuff like that right now is because the writer is free to make up whatever kind of deviations they want. I think that's the reason why I like sliders so much, just because you could take something that looked kind of familiar, but then turn it on its head. Um, a lot of people, I guess they, they do have some pet peeves in writing where it's like, oh, if this is, if you don't know this area very well, like, don't write about it, or you have to do proper research. It's like, that's the reason why, for Uplift Protocol, I made an alternate Earth. So that way I could just make up whatever I needed for for some fun superhero shenanigans. I honestly just wanted to take just a few little basic things and then I just put my own spin on it. But that's what you can do with space opera and other alt-earth stuff. Uh, you don't have to adhere really to whatever happened in our world politically or historically or anything else. I mean, shit. I decided to go... Like, um, with a kind of like the ancient aliens <laughs> angle with some of the tech even in ancient Earth in, in Uplift Protocol. Uh, the Egyptians had access to some interesting stuff that will be revealed later. Yeah, <laughs> that's outside the purview of even the Muthra and also Atlantis and everything else, or even the Markav. You know, it's, it's just fun. i just having a lot of fun with it. I've It's just on some forums I've noticed, like, some people... You know, they'll really get attached to s certain kinds of details, especially if they are, you know, more of an expert in something or know the history of something. So, you know, take it as you will. It it's just, I guess, again, a case of personal preference and everything else. Um, that's, that's the reason why I actively try to find things that'll hit my interests even have a bit of overlap because not everybody's going to fit my stuff to a T. Only I can fit my stuff to a T when it comes to writing my own series. So, yo, there, there, there you have it. Uh, but I think part of it is also you can get stuck on doing way too much research and then you don't start writing. Again, that's just my personal preference. Like, if I need to really research something... I'll go off and research a little bit, but I'm not going to be like, I, I'm not going to take people to task over research and how viable is this or that when it's space opera, fantasy, you know, fiction. Uh, I have some outright, like, um, vinegar against certain kinds of tropes, of course, but that's the reason why you don't see me going on Amazon and reviewing a bunch of ab floating ab books for one stars. Because it's not my cup of tea. It will probably never be my cup of tea. And I'm not going to purposely go out of my way to basically downvote a ton of books I don't even like. Because that's not... Because honestly, that's not going to even stop them from popping up everywhere. The only way you can actively find stuff you like is... You gotta go out there and put get boots on the ground and go looking. Because right now, with how the algorithms work and everything, and apparently Amazon's algorithm, like, say you make a fairy tale princess book, and but you happen to mention it has, like, uh, fairies, but it also has uh, steam engines. Then, based on that blurb, like, because some people have told me, you know, based on what you put in there, it'll add its own search words to your book without you even saying, like, yes, add me to this. So it might end up putting that fairy tale book into steampunk category because you mentioned steam engines somewhere along the line. And the the stupid algorithm will automatically be like, oh, I'm going to plop that there. And it's like, ah, oh, great. Another, another search fail to add to the endless line of trying to find things. Oh, <sighs> yeah. But I guess we're going to just have to do, uh, well, more more searches and then kind of just bring stuff up from from the back and be like, I got to add this to like a, a cyberpunk list or I got to add this to a steampunk list or I'm going to add this to space opera list or even space fantasy. You know, uh, it's just something we got to deal with. Have a good day, every matter. Man, got to get more caffeine into me. Because today is going to be a busy day at work. 
and so is tomorrow. Ugh, it's going to be so busy.